hello everybody guys this is gonna be episode 15 and 16 god damn it we are listen guys we we're going first you know you got them right that's what we're doing out here in the street guys thank you thank you for tuning in i hope you have a good week and i hope you're enjoying your life so far you know what i mean anything else out your control you just have to brush it off man brush it goddamn off life is too short but anyway in the meantime guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel show some love by subscribing to the goddamn channel now let's roll item 28 your pet name for me oh out on this you need to make a decision i submitted you a notarized list right, but Gollum and flaky are not acceptable oh. You don't like Princess Corncob, you don't like Fester, you're just impossible to please. <laughs> this brings us to the final item in our annual State of the Relationship Summit. Really? 29, Valentine's Day. Ah, oh, the worst for last. Classic flaky. Before you get upset, I believe I've come up with a way for us to celebrate the occasion that we both can enjoy. Wow. People usually start a meeting with a joke, but you go ahead, end with one. <laughs> I propose we spend a weekend at a bed and breakfast in Napa Valley. Hate every word in that sentence, including in, at, we, and uh. Of course. Come on, Sheldon, why not? For starters, a bed and breakfast forces you to eat with strangers at your table. And of you, Bernadette and Wallowitz are going with us. What are the sleeping arrangements? We've only been dating for three years. <laughs> if we were to share a room, people might talk. What? You're your own room. What if my room has a clawfoot bathtub? It does, and I know it makes you feel like you're bathing inside a monster. <laughs> Look, I appreciate the effort, but I'm still unclear how this trip is supposed to be enjoyable for me. We're going to have Valentine's Day dinner on a fully functioning vintage train. Oh. Vintage? Be specific. An Alcoa FA4 diesel locomotive leading a train of meticulous- I love Emmy for this. <laughs> Wow. I'm feeling the urge to hug you. <laughs> and one. Uh, two. two. I right, Gollum, we're good. Amy <laughs> <laughs> was like this. <laughs> come here, big boy. Come here. She did not know, come. No, oh, damn it. In a mighty jungle tonight. No, I think we're just going to have a quiet weekend at home. Plus, I'm not sure it's a great idea to take Penny to where wine comes from. <laughs> Oh. Uh, what? It's a joke. Oh, come on. We bust on each other. I wear dorky glass. Problem. It's up for laughs. <laughs> That'd really piss me off if I didn't have a buzz going on. <laughs> Pocket watch. Will you be wearing for dinner on the train? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm afraid if we wear the same pocket watch, it will be embarrassing. Mm. I don't own a pocket watch. <laughs> My. <laughs> My apologies for bringing up this sore spot. <laughs> <laughs> you two are going to be around for Valentine's. Would you mind watching Cinnamon? You have Valentine's plans? But you came out sounding way more surprised. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me try that again. You have Valentine's. See, I can't do it. <laughs> I don't have plans, which is why I booked time on the big telescope that night. Oh, an evening looking at the stars. That's still kind of romantic. Except I'd be alone. I'm trying to put lipstick on a pig here. Work with me. <laughs> on a <the> pig? <laughs> Happy to watch cinnamon. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, and I'd like for at least one of us to see some action. So if you guys happen to have sex, it's cool if she stays in the room. <laughs> All right. Same goes for the two of you with Amy. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, this is nice. I would love to go to a train date. Oh, my girl. It would be nice. Sheldon, mm. it's magnificent. This is going to be the best Valentine's Day ever. I'm so glad you... This is the first one, dude. Prepared to say I love it. As soon as I confirm there are no hobos aboard. <laughs> Before... <sighs> okay. Raj, I got it. Bye. That was your daddy. <laughs> you wanted me to say that he misses you? Why am I doing this? <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day! Ooh, flowers and chocolates? <laughs> Don't be surprised if you find five chocolates missing and three gross coconut ones with a bite taken out. Came that way when I bought it. Yeah, right. I need a little something too. Oh. Jewelry. Oh my God. Lakers take out 
<laughs> That's nice. That's really nice. Better instead of me, you can take someone who will actually enjoy it. Oh. <laughs> he gets the best boyfriend ever. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Seriously, please don't make me go. <laughs> <laughs> Should we take this little party to the bedroom? Mm -hmm. Don't have to. We have the whole place to ourselves. You forgot a dog. In fact, if you want, we can do it right here on Sheldon's spot. <laughs> that is the least sexy thing anyone's ever said. <laughs> to the bedroom. Hey. <laughs> That's where the beautiful. entree tonight's special is a seafood risotto. I, mean, uh, I do. Uh, does this train car have the original Lincoln pin coupler or the Miller hook and platform? I'm sorry, I meant questions about the food. Of course. Um, is the seafood risotto being served on a train car with the original Lincoln pin coupler? Or <laughs> Smart man. Gonna need a minute. Fun fact, it's neither. They actually use the AAR type E coupler. If you listen carefully when the locomotive disconnects, you'll hear the characteristic clish thunk of the knuckle. Oh, wow. Get out of town. Fun fact, I'm gonna jump off this train. <laughs> oh no, if I someone. Hey, Cinnamon. Guess who just did it human style? <laughs> the dog so. Oh my god. It's a little late, but I'll take it. Cinnamon ate the chocolates. That's really bad for dogs. Oh crap, what are we gonna do? We gotta get her to a vet right now. But I have a podiatrist, an optometrist, an allergist. I think I'd have a vet. There's one not far from here. Come on, let's okay. go. Well, if you're probably was right, we should have let her watch. Do another one, do another one. <laughs> My impression of the Amtrak Acela barreling down the Eastern Corridor. Do another one. It's like there's a train in your mouth. <laughs> One. Um, the, the Amtrak Wolverine coming into Chicago. No, I've been on that train and I just was again. <laughs> See if you guys can guess this one. Bang! Splat! Boom! How many trains have you been on? A box fell on my head at UPS six years ago. Now I just collect disability and ride trains. <laughs> Your life's amazing. And wait, wait, what? Not always. A box fell on my head at UPS six years ago. Why do I even try? Yeah. Right now. Okay, just make it look like an accident. <laughs> Excuse me. You are at Valentine's dinner with your girlfriend. Now get back over there and be with her. He, he actually forgot about, about her now. You're right. That was insensitive of me. No. I have to go back to my table now. You should join us. All right. Great. Now there's two of them. Yep, two Shelleys. How much chocolate did she eat? A whole box. Well, to be fair, you ate a lot of it before you gave it to me. <laughs> so the point is, I may have saved her life. <laughs> right, is this a joke to you? Oh. Oh? Maybe to her. <laughs> What was it? Uh, something like this? I don't know. It came free with a full tank of gas. Free? Really? Do you know how much those Lakers tickets were? Do you know how much gas is? Hey! Sorry. Oh my god, Cinnamon, are you okay? Oh. You do. You do whatever it takes to save her life. If she needs new organs, I'll buy any dog necessary and scrap them for parts. <laughs> You're the owner? Oh, yeah. Your father, soulmate. And if anything happens to her, your worst nightmare. <laughs> Well, she's not right. Really that's a date. So I'm gonna take her in back, put her on fluids, and give her something to absorb the toxins. You can sing to her. She likes Katy Perry. <laughs> Do firework that gets all riled up. Yeah. Should have been a dentist. <laughs> okay, what was the best 4104 U.S. locomotive ever built? I mean, trick question was one, or was there? What? <laughs> 1844, the Pacific Railroad built number 6131. Yeah, that's really unfair for, for Emmy, though. <clears throat> One creating a duplex drive 4464. And again, Emmy knows how Charlie is, really. What are the odds we run into this guy? Better than you think. <laughs> he could have hold himself. I never want this day to end. It's feeling like it never will. 
Hey, did I tell you what happened to me at UPS? You did. As if Valentine's Day wasn't bad enough, you tried to kill my dog? Cheap chocolate, no less? It was free. Mm. <laughs> that was cheap. Sorry, it was an accident. Yeah, we weren't even out of the room that long. No, 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 come on, it was a while. <laughs> Why would it meant? <laughs> She's responding well. We just want to keep her a little longer for observation. All right. Raj, make a move. For me to see her? Wait, usually in bed by now, and I wanted to know that I'm here. <laughs> yes, we sleep together, and sometimes we spoon. <laughs> it's okay, I sleep with my dog too. Dude, make a move! I think I can make an exception. Thank you. Come on. By the way, I sang her Katy Perry. Oh, yeah? And I don't care what that obnoxious parrot back there says. I crushed it. <laughs> <laughs> There's something going on between you. Yeah. Them. Maybe, but you also think nine minutes is in a while. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he's such a lady, such a baby, you know? Yeah. So, okay. so, my Amy. Why? Because my boyfriend's off playing choo choo with some weirdo? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Be fair, they're both weirdos. I don't know what made me think tonight would be any different. Yeah. But you got him up here, still says a lie. To be honest, I bet Howie 200 bucks he wasn't gonna have to. <laughs> <sighs> it's not just Sheldon, they're all idiots. Yeah. She's right. <laughs> hey. So your boyfriend's a fixer upper, most of them are. I mean, look at this guy. You think he came like this? When I met him, he was a hot, goofy man. It was. Now, he's been to space. That's all me. <laughs> That's all of her. <laughs> I had a little to do with it. Oh, sure you did. Who's mama's big space man? <laughs> That's what you get him. I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's not true, man. Woman, oh, oh gosh. Yeah, for future reference, that's a while. <laughs> How long should we stay? I don't know, I'm kind of hungry. I saw a Thai place next door. Oh, oh hey! hey. How is everything? Take a home. Oh, God. So I want you to keep a close eye on her for the next 24 hours. For a few warning signs to look out for. And if you see any of them, don't hesitate to call. Hmm. Have a nice night. Yes, thank you for all your help. Yeah, I'm sorry if you didn't think we were taking it seriously. We love animals. You guys own any pets? No. no. Good. <laughs> she's, she's rude. She's actually rude. I love you so much. I love you too. Oh. <laughs> okay. That's not weird at all. You don't have to apologize, guys. The conductor and I have the same pocket watch. It's crazy. Uh, dare I say loco? <laughs> oh, the conductor said as soon as he gets off work, he can come back to the bed and breakfast and play his banjo for us. Okay, I, I need to speak to my boyfriend in private, like right now. Oh, that sounds so romantic. Oh, give it a rest. Let's go. Let's go. You, off. Why are you still here? Excuse me. I think you're being a little rude. You've been rude to me this entire evening. How is that possible? I've hardly spoken to you since we got on the That's the point, you idiot. I'm detecting a little friction between you two, and I don't want to be a third rail. Get it? I get it. Leave. <laughs> what is your problem? It's Valentine's Day. We're supposed to be having a romantic weekend. Because I remember you saying that this trip was going to be something we could both enjoy. Do you mean that? Or were you just trying to trick me? Oh, wow. Uh... Fine. It's true. I deserve romance, and I didn't know how else to make it happen. Well, if you want romance, then let's have romance. Oh, look, there's wine. Mm. Oh, grape juice that burns. Oh, let's gaze into each other's eyes. You blinked, I win. That seems romantic. Oh! How about time, guys? How about time in the internet? nice good for you too Shelly doctor said if I come back to the engine room he'd show me how to bring the train through a crossing okay have fun are you not coming do you want to come with me I do 
That's that's nice. That's nice. No. There you go. All cozy wozy. Yeah, let's see what the doctor says to keep an eye out for. Call me. Hmm. Rajesh, I was dreading Valentine's Day. Thank you for spending it with me. Yvette. Cinnamon, she she gave me her phone number. If it was that easy, I would have considered poisoning you months ago. <laughs> Dog runs. Oh, I know. I'll point out her name's Yvette and that she's a vet. <laughs> she love it. Hello. Oh, hey, you're back. How was your trip? It was great. What'd you do? Well, I made a new friend who likes trains as much as I do. I kissed Amy on the lips and uh, the conductor. Are we going to buy? Are we just going to pass that lips bit? Wait, 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 I'm, I'm going to need more details. Yeah, please. Oh, uh, well, uh, my new friend's name was. No, the kissing bit. Lips tasted like the brownie we have for dessert. <laughs> Banjo playing conductor was missing a finger, but he made up for it with his can do attitude. He's so innocent, bro. Things equal to you? Hmm. It never occurred to me to pick a favorite. Give it a go. <laughs> really? I can't answer that without collecting additional data. So more kissing, more going. Additional data, you dog. <laughs> you dog, man. I'm not sure how listening to other nine-fingered banjo players makes me a dog, but all right. <laughs> you dog, Holmes. Oh, gosh. Mm -mm -mm. Bum 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 Hey you down home That's beautiful Actually really? that's a Van Dyke. A goatee is just hair on the chin. Wait, then what is it if you just have hair up here? You mean a mustache? Mustache! Yeah. He's not a <laughs> <laughs> I'm the foreign guy. For your information, there are four times as many Indians as there are Americans. So the way we say it is right. Moustache. <laughs> <laughs> you fall for that again? Guys, you're being childish. Yeah, she's right. You're grown men. The kind you're perfectly capable of growing your own moustaches. <laughs> <laughs> you're funny on purpose. Good job. <laughs> Hi. Sorry I'm late. I was at an audition. Until okay. next time. <laughs> Instead of assuming I failed, you asked me how it went. Yeah. Sorry. How did it go? Just shut up. <laughs> you can have your seat. No, no, no. Stay there. I'm fine on the floor. Have you guys ever thought about getting a dining room table? Yeah. You actually do have room for one up there. Oh, I sit on the floor for years. No one cares. The pretty white girls, they're 10 seconds. <laughs> no one is running anywhere. We're not getting a dining room table. Change, but it's not a terrible idea. Yeah, you guys never use that space up there. Why not get a table? Yeah. Hey, how can we never get that option? <laughs> suggest that even in a deterministic system, if the equations describing its behavior are non-linear, change in the initial conditions oh, can be a cataclysmic and unpredictable result. Inflation? We I don't want a table. <laughs> Thanks. Penny and I are gonna go shop for a dining room table. You wanna come with us? No, I'd love to, but um Falling back in love with Windows 98. Seriously, you haven't used this desk in years. The second I want to get rid of it, you're up here working. I have several thousand updates to install. <laughs> thousand updates? We're gonna sit here all day. Yeah, think of me as Arthur Dent in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, lying in front of the bulldozers to protect his home. Bogon Fleet blew up the Earth anyway. It's a made-up story, Leonard. I don't even know why you're talking about it. <laughs> need any of it. You, how can you say that? Wait, you show me one thing in here we can live without. You. Yeah. Check your inbox. Is this really worth it? We've lived together for years with nary an argument. Yeah. Uh, Talking about a table and suddenly we're at each other's throat. Wait, what? Nary an argument? <laughs> nary? <laughs> Ooh. That means not one, or not any. <laughs> Maybe instead of a table, you should buy a dictionary. <laughs> That's the way he I meant. I I won that, but at least he's upset. <laughs> <laughs> you know. 
<laughs> yeah, I can control all sorts of stuff. I think it was cool. Not when I said mute and pointed it at her face. <laughs> Channelist Changer Roni. My second favorite brown magic wand. Second best? Uh... That's the last time I play with that. <laughs> <sighs> Off and on and the Oprah Network. Much better than watching TV like a muggle. <laughs> okay, thank you. We'll be in touch. What happened? I'm not gonna believe this. What's going on? On and off. What's going on? <laughs> that was NASA. Uh, go back up to the space station. Oh, wow. Again? What did you tell them? I told them I'd be honored. Is it? So you struggle that stuff. I'll miss you. I'm gonna miss you too. Me too. Looking on Bernadette while you're gone. What have happened to you? We will name our firstborn son Howard. <laughs> that was... Just kidding. We'll name him the leap after my grandfather. <laughs> Wait, but what's he going to again? He had a bad time. Yeah, well, Sheldon's not here. Well, he is here. <laughs> Sweetie, you're paying for this table, and it's your apartment, too. I... You gotta stop letting him boss you around. You're right. He decides what TV shows we watch, what food we eat. I wanted Frodo, but we can't both have Frodo, so guess who's stuck with Samwise Gamgee? Right there. You're a grown man. You should be able to pick whichever hobbit you want. Yeah. <laughs> Wish you wouldn't, but one problem at a time. Yeah, Shelly's always detect everything, man. You make a lot of sense. I like this table and I'm getting it. Really? This one? <laughs> that one? Uh, yeah, yeah. Damn right I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Hey. Good news. Someone Is it? in this room gets to take a ride on a rocket. Hi, hey. can I at least shower first? You already agreed to it, so no take backs. <laughs> no take <text> back. <laughs> Sit down. NASA called. The telescope mount I installed on the space station got damaged. Wow. Yeah, she definitely knew why. What do you think I said? I said yes. Will I talk to Ben? Surprised. Well, it's just after last time. Yeah. I didn't think you'd ever want to go back. Mm -hmm. Are you kidding? It was the greatest experience of my life. Because I kind of remember a lot of complaining and wishing yeah. to be over. Me too. I think you have me confused with what's going to happen when you get out of that shower. Joe, <laughs> six. What do you think? There's plenty of room for everybody. A uh, view out the window. Now nice table, though. On the couch has a great view of a window. Give it a chance, Sheldon. You might actually like it. You're absolutely right. Nope. He's stubborn, isn't it? I can't say he didn't give it a fair shot. Can we get rid of it? We're not. W what about the roommate agreement? It specifically states that any changes in furnishing have to be approved by the furnishing committee. It's on alternate years. And by the way, it sits over there. Ridiculous. She's right. A committee that important should meet more often. <laughs> Is the thing about me standing up to him and not letting Duh. him in my life? Yes. That. Okay. I think we found the problem here. Penny. It's not the table at all. It's Penny. It's you. It's always me. Take one for the team. <laughs> Turning this lump of clay into an acceptable conduit for my will. And then you came along and reshaped him with your newfangled ideas and your fancy genitals. <laughs> Ow. Talk to me like this. Fancy sounds like a compliment. I have not tried to change Leonard. That's just what happens in relationships. Look how much Amy's changed you. Yeah, right. When I first met you, you were incapable of touching another human being. Now you're holding hands, you're going on dates. You even made out with her on a train. Yeah, we remember that. You? Of course she told me. It's the most interesting thing that's ever happened to her in her entire life. You're too close to her, but Amy has had a huge impact on you. Yeah, that's true. Without realizing it, I've allowed that woman to alter my person. <laughs> I didn't have a personality. You just had some shows you liked. Oh. No, I've changed. Like the frog who's put in a pot of water that's heated so gradually. He's gonna take it in a negative way, man. You're the frog who's been kissed by a princess and turned into a prince. Or you're just a tall, annoying frog. <laughs> We're going to find one. To break up with my girlfriend. Oh, Sheldon, wait. No, you've opened my eyes to the truth. Amy has made me a more affectionate, open-minded. Stops now. <laughs> that's not a bad thing. How is that a bad thing? 
It's your fault, guys. Amy, it's Penny. Okay, just a little heads up. Leonard bought a dining room table. Yeah, Sheldon's breaking up with you. <laughs> Ouch. Amy? 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 I'll get right to the point. I think we need to end this relationship with your finger, and uh, please don't cry on my iPad. I'm not surprised you want to end the relationship. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't get Apple Care. I must say I'm relieved you're not making more of a scene out of this. Oh, I've already moved on. Cup has nothing to do with me. It does. <laughs> this is just Leonard trying to take the focus off that dreadful table by sowing discord in our relationship. He's manipulating you like he always does. Hey, hang on. <laughs> I don't. You think he manipulates me? I don't. All the I don't. time. I don't. And he knew that as your girlfriend, I wasn't going to stand by and let a table? Come on! <laughs> it, it, it. <laughs> well, thankfully, I won't have to see it because I won't be your girlfriend anymore. Outside. <laughs> Why, yes, I would like to take a survey. <laughs> Wait, save it. You're really gonna stand by me against the dining room table? Of course I was. Wait. You're not I, I, right now. I, she is, you idiot. I think if I were manipulating you, you'd be smart enough to see it. Uh, oh, I know you're not saying that. Uh, <laughs> you could be smart enough to see that too. <laughs> Wants to send Howard back up. Yeah, exciting. Oh no. Can I ask you something? Of course. Entire experience. Yeah. Does it make me an awful wife if I don't think he should do it again? Uh, he's forgotten how miserable he was the entire time he was up there. Yeah. It's Still talk to him? Why me? Well, I'm his wife. I don't want to ruin it for him. That's what? the dynamic. I'm the fun one, you're the buzzkill. <laughs> uh, always. Do you think this is cool? No, I think it's stupid. There you go. <laughs> right, it's cool. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey. You guys didn't break up. But Amy pointed out that you were only trying to manipulate me. You also figured out by yourself. Which I also figured out by myself. <laughs> I'm glad you're still together. You, know, you can stop trying to make this about all of you. <laughs> oh, no. This is just, oh, my Amy. Oh, Amy must have, must have mind, uh, Shelly, you know. Which is stronger than ever. Yeah, which is stronger than ever. <laughs> That's about you. Is it? Is it so serious? Is it serious? It got the way it was through change. The, the, the spot that you love to sit in that no one else can sit in because despite your objections, I bought this couch. Me. So explain why that change was no. bad and this change was good. Explain yourself to him. I explain myself to you. He's ready to move in with me. Keep the table in your space. <laughs> Have you tried it? Have you tried it? Have you tried it? Have you tried it? <laughs> Keep the table. Oh no, wait, what? What's going on? Yeah, I talk. I know my mom's not dead. There'd be balloons. <laughs> balloons celebration. But we all love you and cherish you. Well, I wouldn't Daddy? do it. Daddy? <laughs> You're great. Can I say something? Oh, of course. Who is that? Hey, Fruit Loops. Well, I heard you were thinking about going back up to the space station. Mm. And as someone who's been there with you, well, you know how astronauts need to have the right stuff? Sure. The stuff you have is wrong. Okay. You did a fine job. It's just you were scared and miserable the whole time. Yeah. I think what we're all trying to say is you don't seem to be remembering how traumatic the experience Yeah, I think forgot it. Women often forget the pain of childbirth. Like a woman. Great analogy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little scared. You peed in your space. <laughs> supposed to do that. Not during the fitting. <laughs> Son, 
Do I need to remind you what you asked me to do before you went up last time? You wanted me to shoot you in the foot. <laughs> How is that not a joke? You gotta get me out of this. Shoot me in the foot. Don't forget all the other astronauts picking on you. And how you threw up in zero gravity and it floated back in your mouth? Yeah, we remember that. And you threw up again, and so on and so on. That was funny. But I've changed. I'm a different man now. And I'm a little insulted that you guys don't think I can handle it. You know you're going to have to go through survival training again. Really? Get me out of this. <laughs> what do you want me to do? You're perfectly healthy. For again? I can get it higher. Just give me a second. Hello? Hi, Ma. How are you? <laughs> Dad, but you wouldn't know that because you don't love me enough to pick up the phone. Go, go, go. <laughs> That's what happened to your Aunt Ida. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, your blood pressure was off the charts. No, oh, me too. I mean, the doctor was willing to fudge the results, but it just seemed so darn dishonest. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> that enough time to get your blood pressure under control? My blood pressure's too high. Okay, drop it. <laughs> My aunt changed her diet, and in a few months, she went to space? I don't think so. <laughs> So why are you trying to ruin it? Mm, out. We're fine. I mean, if you people want to eat at the table, then that's what you should do. This, this is how we've always done things. And if those days are gone, they're gone. Makes me sad. Oh. Feel bad. Oh, don't anthropomorphize him. He's got big eyes, but his feelings are not like ours. <laughs> He's alien. It just seems silly for us to sit in two groups. Well, it's not silly if you think of that group as being led by a big evil baby. Look at Amy down there. Should we go? Yeah, let's go. But you said that I should stand up to him. Forget it, Leonard. It's over. <laughs> Rajesh? Screw that! I sat on the floor for seven years. <laughs> Come on, Raj. It's not the same without you. Fine. Making fun of how I say things. You mean things like moustache? What, they're gonna return the table? Wasn't this nice? <laughs> Sometimes the baby wins. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed it. At some point, I actually was in taste. In taste, indeed, indeed. But I don't, I don't really like the way Shelly sometimes manipulates the situation, you know. And also, the way they wrote this, sometimes, uh, what? So, Shelly always going to get his way? Come on now. Uh, that's not really realistic in life. But then again, it's a, it's a show, it's a comedy. But yeah, I, it's not fair lending. It. It's not fair lending, man. But anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you to the next one. Peace. See ya.